You know, it's not that we're trying to make CEOs life harder by not just wiring $25 million within five seconds. We have to use protocols to keep the, the business and people safe. So first and foremost, that's what I call being politely paranoid. Use two methods of communication that you control to verify people are who they say they are before taking a sensitive action, like wiring $25 million. Then <laughs> we get into technical tools that can support you. Because humans are fallible, they make mistakes. No human is perfect, none, not even people who write phishing emails. Some of them are still gonna fall for phishing attacks. That's how human beings are. So we have to have technical tools to back us up. And the technical tools that I recommend are number one, use a long, random, and unique password stored in a password manager for every single account. That is so important because a lot of times people don't even need to be fished. They don't even need to be contacted by an attacker. They simply have their password that they reuse show up in a data breach. I see that password show up in a data breach. Typically, I can find 13 breach passwords per email address that I look up in my data breach repository, my list of all the passwords that have been breached. And that's not any one user or business's fault. You know, people being breached, we can't control organizations and whether or not they have a breach. All we can do is use long, random, unique passwords stored in a password manager. So using a password manager and then turning on multi-factor authentication for that password manager and for every other tool that you use. So if you can use being politely paranoid to methods of communication mm -hmm. to verify people are who they say they are and a password manager, plus make sure that you have good multi-factor authentication that matches your threat model, which is the likelihood of being attacked, you are going to be in a really good position. Couple that with things like single sign-on and good policies, you're good to go for your business.